Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A fully charged capacitor is connected to a resistor. So it's already charged. When the switch is closed, the capacitor will discharge through the resistor. Which graphs correctly show how the charge on a capacitor and the current in a circuit vary with time during the discharging of a capacitor? So uh, the charge is completely, uh, the capacitor is completely charged now and it is getting discharged through the resistor. So obviously the current is flowing like this. In such kind of cases, resistor is really very important. So you can't have only capacitor in the circuit. There will be resistor in the circuit also. And as it is already shown there. And they're talking about the discharging of a capacitor. So my dear student, first piece of information that I want to give you uh, here is that in these kind of cases, there are two cases. Number one, the charging of a capacitor when the battery is attached to it. Like let us say this is the capacitor. And now the switch is closed and it is getting charged. So what is the charge? So initially the charge is zero on the capacitor and finally the charge becomes capital Q. Is it okay? I can write this as the small Q just to differentiate it, isn't it? Yeah. So this is what happens in the case of charging. And what about the current? The current initially is maximum possible value which is actually equal to v by r v is this and the resistor will also be given there and v by r will be the maximum possible current initially later the current will uh, become zero because now the capacitor is 100 percent charged it's completely charged now and so the resistance of the capacitor will become infinity you can call it a resistance of the capacitor so the current will not be flowing anymore this is what is happening in the case of charge and what about the resistance so initially the capacitor is having zero resistance and finally it gives you the infinite resistance so this i'm just talking about the resistance of capacitor so do not confuse it with the normal resistor this resistor is different and this resistor is different so don't get confused. I'm just saying that capacitor, when it is not charged, it does not act like a resistor. So the resistor will take on, take on to be zero. But once it starts getting charged, it starts providing resistance to the current. And after some time, uh, when it is fully charged, the resistance becomes infinity. And that is why the current becomes zero in the circuit. Easy to understand. But I am just telling you about the steady states. I'm telling you about the starting point when T is equal to zero. And the steady state when T is also infinity, this is known as steady state. Steady state means like no change with respect to time is anymore happening in the circuit, obviously because now the current is not flowing. So this is about the charging, but although the question is about discharging, my dear students, please be careful. In your books, they are no, they're not talking about the charging of a capacitor. And that is why I'm not even talking about the transient current or the transient charging state in the case of charging of the capacitor. So those formulas I am not giving as of now, but as soon as I'm going to see any of this kind of a question asked by IB, I will create a video for that. And if you feel that your teacher was ta talking about uh, the charging of a capacitor, or you need to know about the charging of a capacitor, or you have a question which have ever been asked by IB, just share that thing on WhatsApp with me. I would be uploading the same very soon. So till now, I am going to talk about the discharging. So in the case of discharging, what happens? The capacitor now acts like a battery and the current starts flowing through it. So uh, initially, like here, the this is the equation, RC. And for current, although there is a negative sign also, these are the two equations which you are going to use in this question. Now, negative sign is neglected in your books uh, because they are only considering about the magnitude. Negative sign is used because now the current is flowing in the opposite direction. That is why. So you can get rid of the negative sign also. No problem about that. Okay. But in our books, it is given with the negative sign. But in your books, it is not given in the negative sign. That is the only difference. So be careful. So what happens here is that initially the charge on the capacitor is Q0 and obviously the current is also maximum. Gradually the charge on the capacitor will become zero because it will flow through it and the charging will become zero obviously. And the current will also become zero as soon as the charging in the battery becomes zero. So the capacitor is now acting like a battery. So if the charge in the battery is zero, 
the current will become zero. So finally, these two values will become zero. And these two would be having some initial value. And this is the case only and only in A. So this A option will be correct option. Why? Because it is having an initial charge and finally the charge is becoming zero. Similarly, the current is I naught and the current is also after some time becoming zero. I will move myself a bit and I will show you. Uh, yeah, so clearly uh, you can see that the charge is becoming zero. So this is what is happening. Okay. And that is why I can say that yes, A will be the correct answer. These are these equations. We call it transient state. Transient state. The state in the transition, it is changing from one point to another. So A is the absolutely correct answer. This is how we do it. But I am not providing you these kind of questions, uh, uh, equations and the formulas for the charging because otherwise that is only going to um, confuse you people. That is why. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.